The young children at Regent Street School have been working flat out since February for their celebration, interviewing relatives who came to school here before them, collecting photos, records, books and information. Their audience comprised old boys and girls who ranged from former teachers and inspectors to caretakers and senior citizens who remembered the days when 300 children were packed into just three classrooms. They sang a song for every decade. In 1910, there were over 300 children in school. I was on from 1910 to the Faculty of the World. Even if some of the children found the whole experience just a bit too much, lots of their listeners were transported back in time as they remembered two wars, recall being banned from writing left-handed, getting spanked, and the horrors of the 1926 miners' strike when families were starving throughout the area. House was the oldest guest. A pupil here in 1905 at the age of three, she returned to teach at Regent Street in the 40s and her son was a pupil here too. My son started school here. We lived at Aiton and this was the nearest school and we used to come on bikes. And one day the headmistress got me to come in to help out because they were short staffed. So I came back and that was that. Obviously a lifetime of involvement with yes, school. Yes. It really start off as a very low-key celebration, but then as things started to snowball, as parents came in to discuss, as elderly people from the community came in to discuss, a number of telephone messages that came through, there was no way it could end up a very low-key celebration, and it really has gone along in its own, at its own speed. What kind of things have you been doing to get ready for these celebrations? Baking, sewing and sewing. Have you enjoyed it? Yeah. How many other members of your family have been to this school? A hundred years on, this school may have changed, but its purpose remains the same. As head teacher Janet Young told the audience, the elderly are the school's past, the staff its present but only the children are its future.